The announcement came during a news conference that 20 year old Aiden Dininger was arrested and charged this morning in his hospital bed. This is Aiden Dininger, the man who police say shot and wounded Detective Kyle Gilmartin last week in Scranton's west side. According to court paperwork, just before midnight on Wednesday, Scranton police received reports of shots fired at two locations in the city. Investigators were able to get surveillance video of a car from one of the shots fired incidents and identify it. Early Thursday morning, police found that car parked near Sweatland Street. The officers say Dininger walked toward their unmarked police car and started shooting. Inside that car were Gil Martin, along with detectives Joseph Lafferty and Jason Heiler. Gil Martin was shot twice in the head. Detective Sergeant Joseph Lafferty returned fire, striking the suspect five times. The suspect ran from the scene and collapsed as multiple patrols converged and secured him. They immediately summoned medical help for him. Dininger's actions were brazen, reckless, and without regard to human life. Simply put, it was an ambush, and it's a miracle that only Officer Bill Martin was struck. Dininger was arraigned in his hospital room at Geisinger CMC, charged with attempted murder of a law enforcement officer, aggravated assault, and other charges. After this attack occurred, this community witnessed the obvious collaboration of many federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies and prosecutors working in concert. During a news conference at Scranton Police Headquarters, officials also thanked the community for their support for the department and the continued prayers for Detective Gil Martin as he remains in the hospital. He's doing remarkably well. He's still in critical condition, obviously. Uh, but he's responsive and making improvements that I don't believe anyone expected, including the medical team who has taken phenomenal care of him. Lackawanna County District Attorney Mark Powell says this is still an open investigation and anticipates charges for a juvenile in this case. Bail was denied for Dininger and he will remain here at the hospital until he, he is cleared to be transported to the Lackawanna County Prison. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Scranton.